So Immaculate Grid is setting the baseball world alight right now. And what it is, if you don't know, is it, it is a grid. First off, you have three things on the top. Can be teams, can be other things. And you have just to connect, you know, two like things. So you'd pick somebody that plays on the Reds and the White Sox for this middle category where it connects. And that would be somebody like Ken Griffey Jr. And you would get the point connected right and there isn't really a truly good one for football yet i know they've tried a couple they're just not nearly aesthetically pleasing or weird looking so i had my buddy eagles create me a couple of nfl grids that we're going to try and solve today with a combination of teams as you can see here a lombardi trophy at the top so it's got to be a super bowl winner uh, for the bucks in this category or a player that played in the Pac-12 or Pac-10, depending on how old we can go back, with the Lions for this bottom category. You guys really seem to love the quizzes historically, always asking me to do more quizzes. Well, this is technically what this is. It is a quiz video, just in a different format. And you can do it a couple of different ways. You can have a little bit of fun with it, go with some more obscure options, or you can go with, okay... This guy's really obvious. In the case of, like, Bucks Super Bowl, we could just go Tom Brady instantly and get some points. But we're going to try and tackle four or five grids today, see how well we can do. And if you guys want more, we can bring this type of video back in the future. And unfortunately, because it's not an actual website, I will have to fact check myself to make sure we're correct. But I think just because it's the first one, we're going to try and do things just as easy as possible and kind of cross these off. Because if I can't think of another Buck and a Patriot... I probably wouldn't want to go Tom Brady here because I can only do one player one time. That's super important. Uh, they could have played on this team at any time. So any Bucks Super Bowl champion. And I'm going to start. How crazy do I want to go? There's so many options, obviously. I could go Tom Brady. I could go Gronk for this one for Bucks Patriots, right? I think... We're going to go with Super Bowl MVP in the top right for the Buccaneers, Dexter Jackson as my number one. Bucks and Patriots now. You know, I kind of think, I think Jason McCourty may have played on the Bucks for a second. I think we're going to go Aqib Tlaib. There are a bunch of different options. Yeah, I could just go Tom Brady. I, get, I said I was going to do just easy ones, and now I'm kind of going a little bit weird. <laughs> so may, maybe I won't do that, but... Uh, Darrell Revis for sure. I can't remember. I think Aqib Tlaib was a buck. Darrell Revis for sure was. Let's go Darrell Revis. Let's avoid Tom Brady for now. And then we could potentially go Darrell, or excuse me, not Darrell Revis. We could go Aqib Tlaib for Patriots Rams because Aqib Tlaib definitely played on both of those teams. Definitely played on the Bucks too. He started with the Bucks, um, But I think he also was on the Rams. So we could do Patriots Rams Aqib Tlaib. Lions Buccaneers. The first one that jumped to mind is Indomitian Sue, and I'm 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 100% sure he fits. So we're gonna go Indomitian Sue there for the top left. He was drafted out of Nebraska. Could have won the Heisman. I think he was the runner up in 2010, 2009, 2010. One of those. I think 2010. I think he was 2010 draft. So that would that would line up. And or or was it no? Would it be 2009 then? I don't know. One of, one of those two years for sure. But we, we know he counts for sure. And then Lions, Rams. I'm just going to take the obvious one. Matthew Stafford drafted by the Lions and won a Super Bowl with the Rams. So we'll go with him. And yeah, we could go Rams Super Bowl winner Matthew Stafford too. But obviously we would block ourselves by doing that. So a keep to leave middle we have. And we're going to go far right. Any Rams Super Bowl winner. I'm just going to go Aaron Donald. It is an easy one. I could, you know, pull out something a little bit more crazy, but we're just going to go Aaron Donald. And now this is one that could get a little bit more challenging because I have to think back to, you know, who went to college where and our, our options are fairly limited because we have to pick from certain teams. Pac-12 Super Bowl winner is not going to be that difficult. Uh, Nick Foles is one. We're going to go Nick Foles bottom right. Super Bowl winner and, of course, went to Arizona. So Nick Foles, I'm going to go ahead and plug into the bottom right. Patriots, Pac-12. Any player that has played on the Patriots in the Pac-12, I'm going to go with Jack Jones, who was recently uh, trying to bring guns onto a plane. Probably on the short list of places you wouldn't want to bring guns is onto a plane. So... Uh, not very wise of him, but he was actually a USC commit that transferred to Arizona State after he was kicked off the football team because he was robbing a, I think it was a Panda Express 
cool guy. But uh, yeah, we're going to go Jack Jones there. And then any Pac-12 Lions player has ever played for the Lions uh, and has was a Pac-12 player, at least at one point. It, things can get a little bit weird with the transfer portal nowadays, but any player on the Lions that played in the Pac-12, man, there surely are some good options. <laughs> can I think of any? Um... Let's think. Running back, not David Montgomery now, but not David Montgomery, not DeAndre Swift, who I know is on the Eagles now. He was Georgia. David Montgomery was Iowa State. Quarterback, Jared Goff. There we go. We got to it. <laughs> you imagine if I just didn't think about the quarterback? Yeah, he played at Cal, so that's a Pac-12 school. So we have completed the first grid on a number two. Ooh, okay. Getting a little bit spicier here. Still have college on the bottom. Top row is Jaguars, Eagles, and number one overall pick. So that could get a little bit interesting. Although it seems like it's going to be pretty easy. Just because that's, I mean, you know number one overall picks. We have to have one from the Falcons. I know one. I have to have one from the Cardinals. I know one. And have to have one from Alabama. I'll I'll figure one out. I just thought of one <laughs> this past year. Okay, so we, we have that done. Um, but I don't know if I want to use that just yet. So, okay, let, let's think. Falcons-Eagles is the same Falcons number one overall pick that I have. Michael Vick, right? Has there ever been a Falcon that's been the number one overall pick that wasn't Michael Vick? That I don't know. None immediately jumped to mind. So, I'm going to say that there definitely could be all-time, right? But I'm not going to know, like, the 1977 number one overall pick by the Atlanta Falcons, if that was the case, right? Right. So I think I'm going to have to plug in Michael Vick's top right and then try to get to a different Eagles and Falcons player, which is, that could be a little bit more difficult, but we're going to have to plug in Michael Vick for number one overall pick in Falcons. I'm going to go Kyler Murray for number one overall pick in Cardinals. There could be more options for sure, but there might not be. So we're just going to do that. And then Bryce Young was the number one overall pick this past year. He certainly wouldn't block anybody else. No Panthers up here. So we're going to go... Bryce Young for bottom right for Alabama and number one overall pick. Now, I don't think we're going to count players that never played because, surprisingly enough, the first Alabama Jaguar player that popped in my mind was Dylan Moses. He was a beast at Alabama. I think he was a UDFA signed by the Jaguars, but I don't know that he ever played for them, so he wouldn't really count. We're going to go Cam Robinson, their starting left tackle who I think is actually going to miss a significant amount of time in 2023. We're going to go Cam Robinson, bottom left. Eagles and Alabama. Who is an Eagles player that went to Alabama? Devontae Smith, for sure. I think we're just going to use Devontae Smith. Heisman winner. And uh, that, that one fits pretty easily. So what do we have to do now? We have Cardinals and Eagles. Did Josh Rosen ever get to the Eagles? I don't know. I don't think so. I kind of think Kevin Cobb played for both. I think Kevin Cobb was Cardinals-Eagles. Hassan Reddick was Cardinals to Panthers to Eagles, right? So do I get weird or I just, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go Hassan Reddick. We'll take the obvious one. He was unbelievable last year. So we have the bottom row complete, right? The far right row complete. I, I'm looking at a blank screen right now. So hopefully I've done this in editing where it looks all nice. So I should be missing... Jaguars, Cardinals, Jaguars, Falcons, and Falcons, Eagles. We might have to have a little bit of a think on this because none immediately jumps to mind. I'm going to miss some, by the way. It's going to be embarrassing. I'm sure it is because uh, sometimes it's the obvious ones that you just don't think of, right? So we'll see what we can do. Hopefully, I don't miss anything too obvious. And, um, you know, we'll we'll crush this grid. Oh, off-season, off-season, off-season. Calvin Ridley is Falcons to Jaguars. Okay, that one was probably an obvious one. You guys probably wanted to bet that I would have figured that out quicker, but if you're a gambling man, you're going to be in a, a rough shape there. I was suspended in uh, complete... I, there's, I, I <laughs> Don't worry about it. Listen, Calvin Ridley, top left. We got that taken care of. Falcons, Eagles left, and Jaguars, Cardinals left. Have I done Jags Cardinals yet? 
If I have, whatever. But if I haven't, Christian Kirk just popped into my head. Christian Kirk, Cardinals to Jags. So that's definitely one. So I think the last one I'm working on now is Falcons-Eagles. And I keep thinking it, it feels like a defensive lineman. And I cannot come up with anything. And that is uh, troubling, to say the least. There's got to be somebody. But I just... I... I can't think of anything Fal other than Michael Vick. And I can't think of a number one overall pick for the Falcons that isn't Michael Vick. And even if I could, I'm not going to swap it because I've already locked in Michael Vick. Um, man, Falcons-Eagles, two bird teams. Did Algie Crumpler, the Falcons tight end, did he get to the Eagles at the end of his career? Oh, that feels like my best guess so far. And I don't feel that good about it. <laughs> Who am I missing, man? Asante Samuel! Asante Samuel's both! There we go. That's I just had to go back a little bit. Asante Samuel. Okay. Lock it in. He absolutely played for both. Oh my god. I can't even believe that. I think we've completed the grid. I think we completed the grid. Uh, again, I'm looking at a blank screen right now. Hopefully it's not that in editing. But it took me so long to come up with another option. Be, be sure to tell me other options in the comment section below. Asante Samuel, that took me forever. I gotta look up Algie Crumpler now. Falcons, obviously, he went to the Patriots. I do kind of remember that. Yeah, so he wouldn't have worked either. So I feel good about not going Algie Crumpler, but I, I would have been to a point where I had no other options. Asante Samuel, that's so obvious. I'm, I'm thankful I got to it. All right, we're on to the next. 49ers, Raiders, a little Bay Area action with the Big Ten in the top right. And we have Ravens, Seahawks, and AP Defensive Player of the Year winner. Okay, so this could be a little bit more difficult. So Michael Crabtree fits for a couple of these. He's Ravens 49ers. He's also Ravens Raiders. So I'm going to hold on to Michael Crabtree for a second. I don't really want to guess him in case I, I screw myself over and can't think of another one. I think, I think Torrey Smith. Did he get to the 49ers at the end of his career? It's possible. I mean, it's kind of weird. Uh, I'm going to lock in the first one. I'm going to go 49ers Seahawks. I'm going to go Richard Sherman, a player from the Big Ten on the Ravens. I'm going to go David Ojabo, Michigan, and a second-round pick. Yeah, second-round pick by the Ravens. I did see a little bit of time last year. Adafi Owe would have worked as well at Penn State. A Big Ten player for the Seahawks. Feels like... I don't, I don't remember where K.J. Wright went, which he jumped to my mind, but I, I don't remember where he went. So we're going to have to hold on to that one. Seahawks, Big Ten. I mean, I, sh I should surely be able to come up with these easily. It's Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson's one. Went to NC State, which is in the ACC. Transferred to Wisconsin, which is Big Ten. So we're going to go Russell Wilson for Big Ten and Seattle Seahawks. So right now we have a decent bit of the board filled up. Seahawks Raiders could be interesting. We'll, we'll work back to it. An AP Defensive Player of the Year winner from the Big Ten. We're going to go J.J. Watt, Wisconsin. He definitely won Defensive Player of the Year. Who would have won it for the Raiders? Now, okay, so did Charles Woodson win Defensive Player of the Year? I think he did, but I, I, I think he did it for the Packers, but he, I think, is a Defensive Player of the Year winner. And played for the Raiders, obviously. So I would count that if that's who I end up going with, which I think I, I, I think I will. I'm not locking it in right this second because there might be somebody that feels a little bit more obvious. But I think that's who I'm going to end up going with. Is there anyone from yesteryear that makes a little bit more sense? I think I'm going to go Charles Woodson. But give me a second. Raiders, it would, they're really just DBs. I, I don't know that they've really had. A super like dominant pass rusher that I can think of that would have won a defensive player of the year award so I, I am gonna lock in Charles Woodson we'll have to confirm at the end if that's correct or not I think it is uh, and then 49ers defensive player of the year there might be multiple options here but I am gonna go with Nick Bosa because he did it very recently and if it ends up being the case like I think it is if Charles Woodson won Defensive Player of the Year on the Packers, which I think he did, it's, I'm still going to count it because he won Defensive Player of the Year and played on the Raiders. I know it wasn't his, or I'm thinking it wasn't his Defensive Player of the Year season on the Raiders, but 
don't really care. I'm gonna count it. So what do we need? We need, we got Seahawks Big Ten, right? I need Seahawks Raiders. I need 49ers Ravens, which I think is Torrey Smith. But Anquan Bolden also did it actually. So I'm gonna go, I, I could really do either because they definitely both fit. And then I could do, I could do Raiders Ravens. I'm gonna go Raiders Ravens, Michael Crabtree. Uh, and I'm gonna do Ravens and 49ers. Either will work. Uh, surely, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure Torrey Smith played on the 49ers, but I feel positive that Anquan Bolden did and the Ravens. So I'm gonna go Anquan Bolden. So the only one I should have left then is Seahawks and Raiders. Actually, you know what? <laughs> Funnily enough with KJ Wright, I wonder if that's why KJ Wright was in my head. He went to the Raiders after the uh, Seahawks, right? I feel very good about that. Can I think of anyone else I feel more sure about for Raiders Seahawks? Jerry Rice? Ooh, Jerry Rice definitely fits. And he, because I, I, he went to the Seahawks at the end, right? I think he was in Broncos training camp, but didn't actually make the team. But he definitely played for the Raiders and Seahawks. He would have fit for Seahawks and 49ers, but we got Richard Sherman. I'm going to go Jerry Rice for Raiders and Seahawks. I think KJ Wright did, but I know for a fact Jerry Rice did. Okay, we have confirmation on Jerry Rice. Played, obviously, mostly for the Niners, and then went to the Raiders, and then Seattle at the very end. I know I've seen him in a picture uh, in a Broncos jersey. That's why I said Broncos training camp, but never played for the Broncos technically, or I guess really also. Um, I think KJ Wright would have worked. I'm pretty sure he went to the Raiders at the end. I'm sure there were others. Yeah, he did go to the Las Vegas Raiders. So he would have worked as well, actually. And he went to he went to Mississippi State. I thought I would see it and it would ring a bell. So he's an SEC guy. I, I wouldn't have guessed Mississippi State for him. Also, interestingly to me, uh, he was born on my birthday, or I was born on his. Um, so there you go. I, w I wasn't born in 1989, but July 23rd for me, hey, it's coming up. We're actually in July. Interesting. Or maybe it isn't. All right. Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson did win the 2009 AP Defensive Player of the Year, but 2009, he was certainly with the Packers. So... As I said, I am going to count it because he just, he does satisfy both. Did play on the Raiders at one point. Did win a defensive player of the year. I could see some people being mad at me for that. I don't really know why. Am I missing an obvious Raiders defensive player of the year? There's Nick Bosa. I'm just going to look up Raiders here. So Lester Hayes. I didn't know that he won defensive player of the year. Khalil Mack. Oh yeah. That makes it, that makes sense. So, Khalil Mack would have fit. I guess I didn't really think about him as winning Defensive Player of the Year, even though he was, you know, unbelievable uh, for a stretch. I just thought that, yeah, between J.J. Watt and Aaron Donald, I kind of forgot about Khalil Mack winning one. But yeah, I, I, as I said, I am going to count it. If you don't like it, uh, it's just going to be a tough day to be you. Torrey Smith did play for the Ravens and the Niners, and we know I know for a fact Anquan Bolden did, so why do I keep typing Amquan? Anquan Bolden played for, yeah, Arizona, Baltimore, San Francisco, Detroit. I think Detroit actually tried to move him to tight end. I know he's listed at receiver, but that's kind of what I remember. So, yeah, Anquan Bolden definitely fits as well. So, I'd say we're smashing it so far. As we move on to the fourth grid, we have Green Bay Packers, Dallas Cowboys, and Big 12 across the top, which we're going to count Texas in, of course. If they, if they played in the Big 12 at the time, too. So, it could be like old school... Like, uh, you know, Arkansas, Mizzou, A&M, whatever. Was that... Ah, did, did Arkansas move from the Southwest? Actually, they, I don't think they would count. But I'm not sure. We're just going to go Big 12. We're going to count Texas and Oklahoma because they are in the Big 12 this year still. Uh, and then we have Minnesota Vikings, my favorite team, the New York Giants. I better do really well on that. Although Giants-Cowboys, I don't know that anyone jumps to mind. And then MVP winners. So uh, let's start it out. Uh, Green Bay Packers... Minnesota Vikings could go Brett Favre, who also won an MVP. But I'm going to go with, let's, let's be a little bit weirder. Let's go with Zadarius Smith, because he's now been on both. Green Bay Packers and the Giants will work back to. And <laughs> will work back to. Um, 
uh, uh, Kyler Fackerel. Okay. That's who we're going with. Unbelievable that that's who I'm going with. There are probably more obvious options. <laughs> but Kyler Fackerel is who jumped out to me. I know. Weird. And then MVP winner for the Packers. I'm going to go with Aaron Rodgers. So, entire left column done. Cowboys Vikings. Herschel Walker jumped to mind. I'm going to go Herschel Walker. Guaranteed. Cowboys Giants could be a little bit more difficult for me just because no one popped into my head. I don't know that Miles Austin ever ended up on the Giants, even though he was a Monmouth University guy in the great state of New Jersey where the New York Giants play. Giants Cowboys. Um, Martellus Bennett. Um, oh, I thought of one that's older. Um, Everson Walls. Everson Walls is going to be my guy there. This is a bizarre grid. But Everson Walls, and I'm, I'm going to confirm it, but I, I'm going to tell you right now I'm locking it in. Everson Walls played nine years with the Cowboys in the 80s, went to the Giants in the 90s, won a Super Bowl in 1990 with the Giants, I'm pretty sure, and then went to the Browns, which I didn't know. But yeah, he was on the Giants Super Bowl team. So weird grid so far, but we're doing well. And then Cowboys MVP winner, Emmett Smith. Surely Troy Aikman didn't win an MVP. Roger Staubach might have. I'm going to go Emmett Smith, though. He surely has won an MVP. He's the all-time leading rusher. So, Emmett Smith, lock it in for me. Feel quite good about that. And then, just got to name Big 12 players. Vikings, Chris Boyd. Hook em horns. Giants, Aaron Ross. Hook em horns. And then MVP winner from the Big 12. Has a Texas player won an MVP in the league? <laughs> um... Ricky Williams wouldn't have done it. Earl Campbell may have. Although, I don't think so. Who is an MVP winner from the Big 12? I really want it to be Texas. I want to go... I'm tempted to lock in... I'm going to do it. I know he did. I'm going to go Bobby Lane. Hook him. Bobby Lane was with the Lions. Definitely won an MVP or two with the Lions pre-Super Bowl era. Those are my picks. No! Bobby Lane, when he was an all-pro first-team quarterback, the MVP didn't exist. And then he finished fourth in the UPI MVP, whatever UPI is. They gave it to fullback Joe Perry. <laughs> 1,000 yards and eight touchdowns. He finished second in the UPI MVP in 1956. Third, 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 and third. I guess that two, this was the same year, 1958. Oh, come on, dude. He led the league in passing and touchdowns prior to the MVP existing? Come on. All right, I'll think of somebody else. I just, I don't know that a Texas player has won MVP, which is what... I know it doesn't say Texas, but... <laughs> as a Longhorn fan, I gotta, I gotta, you know, show love. And I already, I already screwed up Bobby Lane. I, I was sure he was gonna win an MVP. I'm going with Earl Campbell. Throwing up the horns. Earl Campbell. Let's see. Oh, Earl Campbell did win 1979 AP MVP. So we will take that. So he is... He didn't... He won Offensive Rookie of the Year and Offensive Player of the Year in 1978. You guys can't see that. Um, but second in the MVP. Won MVP the next year. Second in MVP the next year. But yeah, Earl Campbell counts. I wasn't sure that he would have won an MVP, but it was like, you know, running backs could actually win it back then. So there you go. Yes, there are a ton of Big 12 options, but I gotta stick to Texas. All right, last Immaculate Gwitty. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. We have Bengals, Bears, and that looks like a national championship trophy. We're just gonna call that a national champion. Uh, it doesn't have to be like um, college football playoff. I, 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 that is the college football playoff trophy, but it's the national championship trophy. So I'm gonna count BCS. Remember the crystal ball? Bring that trophy back. That was sick. And then on the side, we have Jets, Steelers, and five-time Pro Bowler. Okay. Uh, Jets and Bengals, Boomer Esiason instantly came into my mind. So we're going to go Boomer Esiason, who also won an MVP, by the way. Uh, I think with the Bengals. Jets and Bears. It's funny, seeing Bengals and Bears on the top, I can only think of Cedric Benson. Hook them, and also R.I.P. But, um, Jets and Bears. Brandon Marshall. 
Brandon Marshall is both. So we have two on the top. And then a national champion. This could be tougher for me because you got to remember a year that somebody would have won a national championship. I'm just trying to think of guys at Alabama or most recently for Georgia who would have won a national championship. But it, Georgia's not going to be the way to do it. Clemson maybe. That one, could, I, I think I might struggle in the national championship one just because I, I kind of struggle to know like which years. I struggle to know which individual players won national championships. So that one could be tough. Unless I can think of like, can I think of a Jet that was on like the 2000 Miami Hurricane team? Anyone that ever played on the Jets? Did Willis McGahee ever get to the Jets? And did he win a national championship? Well, we'll, we'll come back to that. Um, let's get the five-time Pro Bowlers done, I think. Or do I want to go like Bengals Steelers first? James Harrison was on the Bengals. We're going to go James Harrison for Bengals Steelers. I'm sure there are more. Steelers Bears. Oh, man. Chase Claypool. Yeah, smack Chase Claypool right in the middle. Okay, and then Bengals five-time Pro Bowler, Anthony Costanzo. What did I just say out loud? What just came out of my mind? Out of my, my mouth. Anthony Munoz. The best left tackle maybe in NFL history. I just said Anthony Costanzo. The Colts left tackle. I know he doesn't even play anymore. Okay. That was a bit of a screw up, but I caught it. I don't always catch that. because some, I definitely didn't mean to say Anthony Costanzo, but that's what came out. Anthony Munoz. Lock it in. Bears five-time Pro Bowler. Mike Singletary. Lock it in. Could have gone Richard Dent. Could have gone Bryant Urlacher. I wonder if uh, the fridge would have done it. Dick Butkus certainly would have. I'm actually going to switch. Let me go Dick Butkus. Just because that's a bit more fun to say. And then a five-time Pro Bowler who also won a national championship. Um, That could be tougher. And I know it probably shouldn't be. But I'm just trying to think of who won national championships. Peyton Manning didn't. I think he was a year away at Tennessee. Um, so he doesn't fit. I, I'm telling you, I'm going to struggle with the national championship one. I really am. Did George Pickens win a national championship? I think George Pickens did. He was on the team. He came back for the national championship. Made a sick play in that game. Big catch down the field. Was that a Georgia National Championship win? I think that was their first one. I'm going to go George Pickens. I'm going to lock it in. Hopefully that's correct. Five-time Pro Bowler. That was a national champion. Um, that, that actually is easy. I'm just going to pick somebody from the 2000s Miami team that would have won a national championship. And I will confirm that they were on the team. Same thing with George Pickens. Um, I'm going to just go... I'm going to go Ed Reed. There you go. Ed Reed... Certainly should qualify. And actually, no, no, don't lock it in. I'm going to go Ed Reed National Championship for the Jets, and I'm going to go Ray Lewis National Championship uh, five-time Pro Bowler. If I accidentally said lock it in, erase that from your memory. I'm going to go Jets National Champion Ed Reed. All right, let's confirm. All right, first we'll confirm Ed Reed was on the Jets, which he definitely was. Jets in 2013 for seven games. And Miami Hurricanes football won a national championship, of course, in 2001. And 2001, let's just look who was on that team. They were so stacked. Clinton Portis, I mentioned Willis McGahee. Frank Gore, I knew. Um, Brian McKinney, interesting. Uh, let's look. Oh, Vince Wilfork was on that team. That's interesting. Jonathan Vilma, of course. Ed Reed, I'm such an idiot. Ray Lewis was 1996 draft. I'm five years off. Why did I think he and Ed Reed played together? That's that's a miss. Okay, we got to think of another one now. And by another one, I mean A1. Any five-time Pro Bowler that won a national championship, and I'm going to now ignore the 2001 Miami Hurricanes because I, I've seen who plays on, the, on that team now, and that was just complete stupidity. I knew Ray Lewis was in the NFL already. I knew he wasn't on that team. And I, you know what? I was thinking Miami, boom, Ray Lewis. Stupid. All right. Five-time Pro Bowler that was a national champion. Who was a five-time Pro Bowler from the 05 Texas team? Not Vince Young. 
unfortunately. I don't know if I can name a five-time Pro Bowler from that team. That could be an absolute throw for me. But five Pro Bowls is a lot. Five Pro Bowls is a lot. Who was... I need a national champion before, at minimum, 2017. So, who was a national champion? I mean, Ohio State got one. Ohio State could be a good call. I can, This could be anybody. I can... Like, let's not overthink this. Alabama is going to be a good shout. For sure. Uh, we could go with a Florida team. But Tim Tebow's not a five-time Pro Bowler. Shoot. <laughs> Who is like a baller on the 08 Gators? I mean, Earl Campbell could fit. Was he a national champion at Texas in the 70s? It's possible. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Was Cam Newton a five-time Pro Bowler? He was a national champion at Auburn. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock in Cam Newton. I thought also my like my quick backup is going to be um, Joe Hayden, but I'm not sure he was on the Gator championship team. And funnily enough, that's actually how I got to Cam Newton, is he was a Florida Gator, and he transferred to Blinn College in Texas, and then, of course, Auburn, because he was uh, stealing computers, I think, in Florida. Something fun. Cam Newton is a three-time Pro Bowler, okay? So not him. Joe Hayden is a three-time Pro Bowler, so not him. How can I... Dude, five Pro Bowls is so many, but there's surely so many obvious choices. I just don't... I don't know a lot of national championship teams, and it's just so annoying. Was Julio Jones a national champion? I really wish I knew. I wasn't like... I was really just more of a Texas fan early on. I wasn't, like, super big into all college football when I was younger. And that's tough. And not that I was super young when Julio was at Alabama. But I just don't know for sure that Alabama won a championship that year. They may have. I'm going to guess Julio. He definitely is a five-time Pro Bowler. Did he win a national championship at Alabama, I think, is the question. I got to gotta search to make sure he's a five-time Pro Bowler. I, you know, I think almost no way he's not, but I, you know, I thought that with Mitch Trubisky being a Pro Bowl quarterback, that Cam Newton would have done it five times. Julio is a seven-time Pro Bowler. He is a 2009 BCS national champion. Thank God. There you go. Got it on screen now. Um, I knew that was going to give me some trouble. I'm sure that was tough to watch, but we got there in the end. So that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.